Welcome back to Let's Play A Boy and His Blob. I'm Burning Dog Face, and Blobbert has taken Billy to Blobonia. Like this. Except much more powerfully. Oh! Oh, he's going in the direction I'm pointing. I'm not steering. Sure, that's a bit odd, but all right. Wait, I need to see that. Hello there, little friend. I see little tiny dot eyes. I... Blobbert? Are those slinkies? Are slinkies alive on your planet? Sup. Mind you, I suppose that's a maple seed. And I can't even tell what that shaky thing right here in the background is. It looks like a building, but, uh... The building didn't look like a building, so... God damn. I just realized the hills in the background. Everything here is crazy looking, and I love it! And it, even the grass is still green. These plants aren't supposed to look like this, by the way. They're just very affectionate, so they're constantly hugging each other. Oh, yeah, duh. Oh. Shit. I tried to remember what the run button was just there, but this is running for a child like that. What? Oh, fuck. I do like that, though. You don't usually see a lot of games where they, you know, sort of acknowledge the fact that, uh, there isn't a lot of shit human beings can do. And even, like, that's honestly about accurate for the jump of a human being who hasn't trained in jumping. Like an Olympian or whatever, as opposed to. Oh, sh- oh. Alright, gravity is still bad. No problem. God, you guys probably don't have parachutes, because you probably don't need parachutes, huh? Like, worst case scenario, you splatter onto the floor and then pull yourselves back together. Oh, they do have eyes. I guess, hypothetically, they could have other organs floating around in the protoplasm. But I've seen him take some shapes that suggest otherwise to me. You know, like the hole. Which is literally negative space. I had a feeling. Good boy. So, uh, given that you live in a ha so yeah, he was explicitly a pet in the original game. But, uh, given that he lives in a house with others of his kind, pretty sure he's a person in this one. I mean, I've been treating him like a person, but, you know, I treat my cat like a person. So that's not really a great example. No, don't stand there. Oh, God. Well, I guess this is my literally the only way out. I oh. I was wondering if they're at all just named Blob in this game. Like, I remember hearing it turned out in the comics that, uh, the Guardians of the Galaxy encountered Groot's people and discovered that I am Groot is the only thing any of them can say. However, by a remarkable coincidence, the one they knew was actually named Groot, so, uh, they weren't wrong about that. <laughs> Oh, okay, yeah, they did teach me that. Or they were going to, anyway, so fine. I don't know what this is, but I like it a lot. I really like the purple and green. God damn it. That way. Oh, oh. I keep expecting it to blow up whenever I run into anything. So I've been trying to avoid walls and such. Not very well. Ready? Oh. 
The Slinkies are intelligent enough not to just walk in. I guess they've got that over grasshoppers. Wait, they're not people too, are they? Because, like, if you wanted to stay here afterwards, I was kind of going to steal one of these things. <laughs> oh, wait, that's an invasive species. Honestly, it's kind of a mirror. Something wrong? He turned pink over here. Oh! I see! That's what we're doing. Yes, I was going the wrong direction entirely. Oh, it was a hole. That button is made out of sod. For the record. Okay, yes, you can break these. Let's not. I thought about breaking it anyway to uh, make it not cracked any fuck. Yeah, like that. That was not on purpose, I just missed. Oh! Calm down. If I throw it straight to him. I made use of the feature! Alright, uh, that works, sure. I really want to pet those things. You know what I find really interesting about that is that Billy doesn't pull away covered in slime or anything. So he's amorphous, but he's self-contained. I don't know, like Odo from Deep Space Nine. The changelings never uh, left behind residue of themselves. I think I might be wrong about that. It's been a while. Oh, oh. Oh, there's spikes right there. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, shit. Oh, maybe I can go up. Uh! Right now, what am I doing? I'm doing recon, is what I'm doing. Alright, I think I do, I do have to use the rocket to hit those guys, because it's the... No. I see what to do! Hurry. Okay, whatever you do, don't face the other way. Oh, thank you. I did not think that would actually work. I was actually, however, pretty sure this would work. Suck it! Oh god! Yeah, that kind of jump would actually really hurt my knees if I was uh, that age. As opposed to with this age, where just sitting here in this chair kind of hurts my knees. No, not really, but uh... There are days when the stairs give me trouble. I think it runs in the family, unfortunately. Ah, uh, genetics. It's the reason I started going grade 18, but it's also the reason I'm probably not going to go ball. Okay, that didn't work. The way it was supposed to. Seems like even these things are alive. These are like... Plant blocks. Oh, that's fine. I bet this thing is full of nectar. I have no idea if it would be a good idea to drink it or not. Especially for a human. Flying and we're rocketing. Oh. I kind of thought that would kill him. I do love that sound effect when they run into stuff, though. I have to admit that. Oh. Oh, no. I wasn't where I thought I was at all.
too difficult. I only died there because I was being silly. Pop! Okay, that's fine. Here. Good love. You know, I hope he likes the taste of oranges, because I feel like I've fed him more trampoline ones than anything else as I think about it. That and punch. Oh no. Oh, I wish I pushed the, ele the elevator? The, uh. The anvil off the edge. I mean, speaking of which, I guess I can just do that here. I don't think I can kill that guy without killing myself, so I guess I just have to drop past him. You be dead! The right, the right stick doesn't do anything in this game. Uh, I guess, it, I guess it was a Wii game. Given that it's working this well, I have to imagine that it didn't have much in the way of waggle controls. I'm thinking this is one of the ones you use for the controller in the like NES style. You know, where you just hold the Wii mote sideways. Hey, look what I found. Recon. One problem at a time. Let's go! I don't like that one. Seems impatient. That's not the, the, the tack you should take. I mean, he's he's, still, he's lagging behind because you told him to turn into a blobfish. Oh wait, the blobfish is actually a thing. It's called that because the uh, its body is composed pr uh, primarily of slime. And uh, what everybody thinks it looks like isn't what it actually looks like, because that fo the, you know, the famous photo was taken after they took this deep sea fish out of you know however much pressure at a jillion fathoms. So it's kind of melting. They look totally different in their normal habitat. Oh, oh, oh. oh dear! Oh, it's water beneath. Oh, right, that's bad for me. Ah, I forgot. We got it. Ready? No way this doesn't normally happen. Any kind of a Flappy Bird feeling around this area? Even though we're not actually doing it like Flappy Bird? I guess that's a dated reference because nobody can play that game anymore. Ooh, I love that! I, I don't know that it's not, for example, a carnivorous plant that will eat your face if it's actually hungry, but ima just imagine giving that to uh, someone as a gift. That's a horizontal, so I'll just go with a rocket and fly over there. Blobbert, you fool! You've killed us all! Oh, shaky shaky. What was that about? Hey, now we get to add treasure to your house, buddy! Oh, yes, I almost walked straight out there. Is there a way to get those guys? No. 
fine. Wait. Okay. I'm standing on his right. He's facing towards me. Wait, what if I do this? Does he just do this the way I'm facing? Ready? I guess that is the case. That's uh, good to know. Oh God! Uh, uh, I over panicked. Over panicked. I. Oh, yeah! I overthought it and I panicked. I was trying to say. At the same time, apparently. <laughs> You're home. I like that. What? 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 It's gonna be something crazy and abstract, isn't it? Oh! Oh, of course! It's just a fucking cactus! It's an earth plant! That would be treasure here! Wow, I like that. I mean, technically on an alien planet, any goddamn thing would be treasure, you know, from another planet. You could bring them, like, a, a, the most innocuous... You could bring them this backpack and, like, my god, another species made this item to fit their anatomy. Hell yeah. Please tell me this is a field where jelly beans are harvested. I would love that. I feel the need to check the, uh, the comments I had, see if I had anything else. Shout out to Gundy's Lackey! Oh god, almost lost the picture. Uh, I'd like to point out that the frog blobs that eat Blobbert uh, in his coconut form reminds me of the stone frogs that eat Samus in Morph Ball mode in Metroid Prime, and that's actually a pretty good comparison. All right. Oh, it's nighttime. Holy shit, they can see Earth from here! Well, we're in another galaxy. Maybe there's just another planet that looks a lot like Earth. Are you aiming for that one? Oh, by the way, I meant to ask. Uh... Okay. I'll admit that I perfectly understand that the real-world reason is that all of the hidden collectibles have to look the same for the player to uh, recognize them at an, a glance, no matter how dumb they are. But I still want to know why, when everything else is so wildly different, the treasure chests look exactly the same on uh, Blavonia as they do on Earth. Do they even have wood here to make those out of? I'm guessing these are droppy platforms. We got rocket, we got hole, we got parachute, coconut, and we got balloon. Here you go. He's just chilling. I didn't notice that before. I could actually hear a very, very quiet... I'm up here now. Touching these baked bean sculptures. Well, that is interesting. And I do have this. You rang. No, I can do a better lurch than that. You rang. <laughs> Alright, I'll just have to try and, and avoid that guy. On the next episode of Let's Play a Boy and His Blob.
Ready? That's the end of the episode. Let's do this. Yeah. Yeah, that's better. We're going to keep exploring Blabonia. We're going to keep finding treasures and rocking faces. And it's going to be a cool scene. You should be there. Later.